Okay. Hi, my name is Carl Marshall. I work in the Immersive Computing Lab inside the Intel Labs, and today we're showing a demo called Display Without Boundaries. So the idea here is that we have dis display should be anywhere in your environment. And today in your home, you see you have your TV you set up on a wall, you have a photo frame in your corner, you may have an LCD on your refrigerator. But the idea is to free that and be able to put displays anywhere throughout your environment. So part of it is reinventing kind of where computing happens and its form factor. So if I had a recessed light bulb in the ceiling and I had a projector, a depth camera, and compute, now I can start placing this display services anywhere throughout my home. So that's kind of the visual aspect of it. But in researching immersive computing, the second aspect is I should be able to interact with it. So here we have an ordinary kind of centerpiece bowl. We do some calibrations for the curved surface, but we can now enable touch on it. And you can imagine this being like thousands of photos you have, and you want to, and if you want to say, okay, I'm interested in this area of photos, I can go through and touch them, and I'll send it off to our interactive wall surface. So this could be your modern day photo album here, where you can go through. You can grab a photo, you can move it around, and if I like certain photos, I can enlarge those photos. And I could also say, well, that's not something I want. I can send that back to the ball and then allow that to re-interact again. So now that we have the visual and the interactivity, the second aspect is how do I tie, how do I emotionally connect to my technology? And that's what you would see in our demo across the way, where Margie was talking about emotional um, expressing emotions through images. And so te technically how is this happening? So technically we have display, we have a lot of software written on top of how we're calibrating the display. We have a depth camera as you see there, and the depth camera is allowing, giving us depth, but we have software on top of the depth camera that's interpreting where our touch is on a surface, whether it's the depth of the bowl or whether it's X, Y positions on a wall. And then we have a back-end server system that allows these, all these devices to talk to each other, kind of our cloud. Computing. Thank you so much. You're welcome.